This is Makeup Lecture 27 for Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday class, March 30, 2016. Uh, we will further uh, extend our uh, explanation on the voltage regulation uh, for three phase uh, in this lecture from the single phase uh, uh, lectures 26 that we last talked about the um, single phase regulator uh, example. So my plan uh, for this makeup lecture is to go through all of the three phase voltage regulator and uh, if we have a little bit more time I would like to talk a little bit uh, on the Homewood file uh, to give you guys a little bit hints about what you should look up for uh, and then when I return on Friday lecture when I meet you on, in the class I will start with the new chapter uh, Chapter 8, in this case for, for the three phase distribution transformer. Um, this is built based upon the same concept from uh, Chapter 7 when we talk about ideal transformer, which is the same principle. In this case, it's not uh, for the uh, red out using. Uh, it's not the same concept as auto transformer, but uh, in principle, we're going to go through this uh, uh, transformer stepping down, uh, which we always regard it as uh, the load in distribution system. So as you can see from this slide that we are loaded with a lot of information, but uh, basically uh, the new part for this lecture is 1 and 2. 0 is when we talk about single phase 1 uh, regulator uh, in the previous uh, makeup lecture, uh, the example. But then uh, this lecture we're going to talk at least uh, the grounded Y tree regulator and then close uh, delta uh, tree regulator as well as open uh, delta which looks like this shape uh, with two regulator. Um, so uh, this is a little bit busy diagram but I, I think you know what I mean here is that this is a Y connected type B regulator. So if I would have to use this fixture and extract it into this figure you can see that this is a, a L connection right the type B is actually the L um, type so you have something in and out out is tapped out in the middle of this uh, two winding is the same thing how you can see in this picture from B in to that to the ground and then tap in in the middle to the output for B and the same thing for this A in and then in the middle going to the output the C in and then that tap it out uh, in the middle of the winding and then the, the other terminal here is all grounded as you can see so this is a grounded Y uh, connection and then um, they all share this common connection uh, for the ground uh, notation different here uh, that what uh, I would like to clarify um, we know that from the line or regulator uh, we use a different notation uh, before but the line is a uh, small n and uh, n and n but for the regulator we actually use a capital letter on the left hand side and a small letter on the right hand side so B A C that's the capital letter and the A B C is a small letter so do you know that left right that's the flow of current going into the system so that's how it looks like for um, uh, the uh, three phase connection and you know uh, the something that's for you to think about is what about in type A? Would that do, looks a little bit different? Uh, if you flip this around, you probably can see the picture on in three phase configuration. Uh, I will let you think about this uh, for the moment, and maybe when I return, you can share with me how you gonna uh, put this together for the type A Y connected regulator three in three phase. Mathematically, is the very straightforward uh, form formation. As you can see, that right left hand side with a capital letter, right hand side with a small letter. This is a sending receiving end, and this is the box that we use. And we only have a diagonal value of the AR, which is the how we use uh, to compute how much we need to change the tape. And then uh, this is a column vector, three by one. Uh, again, this is a column, 3 by 1, and then this is a 3 by 3. So it, the dimension of the vector has to be agreed. So 3 by 3, 3 by 1, it will result in 3 by 1. 
Um, so I also mentioned that there is no sun capacitance involved, so we can actually ignore this part, um, simply uh, focusing on this uh, part A. And this A is actually this part. This is what we refer as a regulator ratio, how much ratio we need to to change. And this is as a function of the number of tape, as I mentioned earlier, um, in the single regulator um, um, portion. In terms of equation, it is uh, the same thing. The A is actually the inverse of D. So you can see that since the previously it was only the diagonal, then we can actually inverse that that way so that you have uh, the capital A and the small letter A. So as, as you can see that we don't have C term because we don't uh, care about the sun and the impedance information from the transformer because of the amount of the so, is so small. So we are actually going to uh, compute, the, ignore this, and only compute the D part of the uh, matrix multiplied by the right-hand side of the current, ABC, small ABC, which is the uh, receiving side of the terminal. And then this is the sending side of the terminal, capital ABC. So that is a pretty straightforward for white connected uh, configuration uh, uh, three-phase regulator. To simply put them in the generalized form A, B, C, D, and capital A, B matrix, then you can simply write in this form. And then there's no B, no C, as I mentioned. And the D can also be the capital A. And then the capital B will be 0 as well. So um, 1, 2, 3, 3, 0, and 3 non uh, 0 value. And uh, 2 inverse value, capital A and D. In terms of putting the delta connection, the, the uh, configuration looks a little bit tricky because uh, the other, if you look at this, the going in and uh, going uh, the other side of the winding is actually not grounding because there is no grounding for the delta connection. So it's actually connect to the, the other uh, middle of other uh, winding and then uh, the middle will actually going output here as well. So the output here is actually sharing with other winding winding of the other face. So you can see that this actually uh, go out and then sharing with this, and this is uh, going in and then going out and share with other winding as well. So it's uh, very different than the uh, Y connected that where you only have all the common uh, connection. Um, that share uh, the other uh, terminal of the winding share with the common ground. So that's a major difference between between uh, Y connected and delta connected. Man and man is speaking. You can refer to the page two two zero. I think that the author actually went through uh, not too long a duration, but uh, I just want to put it in a way that to describe this mathematically in the matrix form, so that you can see the pattern. Um, I mean, how you get that, you can actually walk through the math, uh, page two two zero, which uh, I I don't think that I will spend time to go through this. Uh, you, you probably spend enough time to uh, walk through the duration for the line. So this is the form that uh, if you want to get to the detail, page 220 is where you will get uh, the information. So if you are convinced with one uh, row of how this A, R, A, R, A, A, and 1 minus A, R, B, C with 0 third column would be, uh, then uh, by s going through the same pattern, it will be uh, similar of the second row and third row. So A R B C one minus A R C A and then zero, and then A R C A one minus A R A B and then zero. So this will be rotating, and then it will be the, in the form of uh, small a. So this uh, the 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 three by three matrix side here is actually the small a multiplied by the V L L A B C. So the only problem here is that um, when you are dealing with a delta compared with the Y connection, the Y connection is already convert everything into uh, line to neutral, right? But the delta is not line to neutral. As you can tell, this is line voltage, this is line voltage, and there's some work for, for us to do um, uh, in the future. So I, I'll leave it as it is now, and we'll go through the current uh, 
gateway uh, information. So the current will go through the same um, deriv uh, derivations. Uh, go through the if you go to the page two two zero on the textbook. Um, that's how they actually uh, put it together to accept that uh, they f use the IA, the sending part on the right hand side, uh, and then the receiving side on the left hand side instead. And if you are convinced how this the first row is being uh, derived, then the pa same pa pattern will be AR, AB, 1 minus AR, CA, AR, BC, 0, 1 minus AR, AB, and then ARCA0, 1 minus ARBC. So, similar kind of pattern will go through here as well. Um, the capital D here is not really the ca capital D that we mentioned from the line to neutral uh, to uh, night, uh, line to night conversion kind of thing. So, this is a different D uh, for three phase regulator delta uh, situation. Um, but what you can see here is um, we don't need a C because we don't need the sun and the impedance information anymore. So we sort of cancel it out. We only have the D value, D matrix here in this situation. So um, the small D and capital D is actually the inverse, as you can tell. So this is where you have, and then you invert this matrix. It's invertible. And then you will have uh, this information uh, right here. So the D is actually the invert D or vice versa. So the open delta wide uh, uh, connected regulator is uh, the most tricky part. So we when we remove one winding uh, from the system, uh, things have changed. So as you can tell that we still have three uh, line in, three line out compared with the, the other figures. Uh, three line in, three line out. And why when we remove the one part of it, we should don't we should not have the C part, right? Because this is being removed. Um, so you might have only uh, three line uh, two line in and three line out. But look at this topology carefully you still have the tree line in, right? And that actually uh, is shaved to connect with the DRN here. So that's the difference here. Um, and mathematically speaking, it's going to affect the voltage and the current as well. So which means that tree line in instead of connect to one terminal of the DR uh, winding that's being removed, we are directly connecting the B to the other side of the uh, Winding and then this winding simply connect every uh, phase B uh, and the other two winding together, and then this is in the middle going out. So mathematically speaking, you can write this in as uh, sort of like a, a wide, wider connected here, but this part is uh, enforced by the connection here. Right? This looks like A, um, B, B, C, B and C connection and then the C A is a difference and the C A connection is different so this looks like something and then this is the uh, variable that you can uh, relate from the K V L uh, in equation 7.111 from the textbook page 223 so uh, this is a form where they uh, they put it in in to calculate that uh, converting from one side. Uh, so this is a receiving end, and this is a sending end. So uh, converting from receiving end to sending end, you can just simply multiply by this equation. What about vice versa? Um, if you going to inverse this equation, inverse this equation by uh, finding the receiving sign voltage, we got a problem because this zero value of uh, one column actually will result in the singularity problem again because we, when you have that matrix inverse 
uh, move it to the other side to find out this information, this matrix is not invertible. So we have to revisit what we have been told before, the W and the D matrix to convert uh, line voltage to uh, phase voltage and then phase voltage to line voltage uh, like that. So the key here is the W and D matrix. Um, so from, from this situation, um, we can uh, say that this inverse relationship, but we can just put it inverse for each of them as a capital A L L. This is a line A B C and then uh, small letter A B C. But then in order to put them into the uh, line to neutral, you have to multiply by W and the D on both sides of this uh, D regulators, which will, uh, this is a newly derived value uh, by uh, multiplying W on and D on both sides. So to, to do that, you, you have this uh, A regulator value uh, converting uh, to line to neutral format instead of line to line, right? So this is the A value. For the D, uh, we don't have the C part as well, so you can actually um, use that as uh, uh, converting the information to the the capital A, B, and C and small letter A, B, C. So this is a receiving side. This is the sending side. On this page is uh, I'm going to summarize all the Y connected, delta connected, and open delta con connection uh, for that tree, um, tree or less regulator connection. So Y is pretty straightforward. You have a diagonal value for A and D inverse. Uh, if you take one out or any one of the out, you can just simply remove them. There won't be any uh, configuration implication in terms of how this current will flow. But for the delta connection connected value, um, it uh, is sort of a little bit tricky here. So this is the same way how I mentioned earlier to summarize that. And then for the delta connect open open delta connection is a little bit more uh, different so you don't have this term and that term for the first two uh, rows right? the, whereas the, com the third, co third row will be completely different whereas you only have m minus A, R, A, B and then the minus A, R, B, C C, B so for uh, the D matrix, uh, instead of having this third column all zero, the second uh, col uh, column is having the zero, but the value remain very similar as compared with uh, the other one. Um, so, so I want you to uh, carefully look through all the single uh, connection and trying to make sense out of that. That I, I know that if you will have to go through a mathematics from the textbook, those value can be uh, very confusing sometimes, but uh, this summary hopefully will give you a more uh, uh, bigger, give you a bigger picture to see what are the information you need in order to calculate uh, one side or to the or to do the other side because you have a generalized A B C D matrix that would be used to compute uh, on either of the side. And uh, as I said, luckily we don't consider the sun and the emitting, so the B and C matrix will result in all zero, and so as a capital B value as well. So uh, this is what I have for the chapter uh, seven. In this short video clip, I'm going to provide you uh, some hints about how to solve the homework five problem. Um, they are. Uh, Problem 7.3, 7.5, and 7.7. .7. Um, two of them are actually quite related as usually the author of the text, in order for him to save uh, space, he actually used some of the parameters from uh, previous chapter or from previous question so that, you know, he doesn't have to repeat the same thing all over again. 
uh, for different kind of questions. So uh, what I would do is to give you some guidance about what are the required steps that need to carry forward for each of the uh, questions that are assigned for homework 5. So for homework problem 7.3 uh, is actually a type B uh, set vo um, voltage regulator. As you can see now, uh, the best thing to do is to actually lay out how uh, a, a system looks like with the parameters uh, associated with each element. And in this case, you have a power transformer, and, and then I put dot, dot, dot here, is that this regulator seems to be, um, from what I can tell, is not actually stationed at the substation, but somewhere uh, around the feeder. So I'm um, just put dot 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 here with the regulator sign here and you what you can tell here is that there's a 7200 uh, 120 volt uh, single phase lateral uh, with a PT uh, range of 7200 120 volt and then the current transformer 500 to 5 amps. The uh, Relay setting, uh, the R prime and the X prime will be 5 plus J10. As you can tell, this prime, uh, 2 prime indicate that is actually in volt, not ohms uh, unit. And uh, the interesting part of the regulator is that you can actually uh, adjust tape changes according to any current condition. So in this question, they're providing you the initial tape position, which is plus 10 tape. And uh, measuring the voltage and the current at that point is actually 7200 volt and 375 amp both are in um, um, uh, magnitude. So if you uh, multiply both together with the power factor, um, you can actually extract this uh, angular information. Then you can compute how much that would that be for the angular uh, uh, for the um, compact powers. So very, very first step that you have to do find the CT ratio, as I mentioned um, over previous uh, tutorial and lectures. Um, so this is a crit critical step for in order for you to actually carry on to the next step, which will be required you to um, find the ABCD parameters. As you know that um, for regulator chapter, particularly in this uh, study, is that we are trying to neglect, basically this is the AD, not the ABCD, because you know that B and C are actually zeros. So once you get determine A and uh, D uh, parameters, which uh, basically they are inverse, uh, uh, inverse, inversely uh, related it with each other. Once you find that out, uh, then compute the compensated voltage and the current. Uh, this is uh, the part that you need to know how much compensation for that current would be. And then uh, the next step will be automatically compute the compensator impedance, which is in ohms and uh, compensation relay voltage. And I, if you recall from the pre previous recorded lectures, the VR is actually equal to V regulator minus V drop. So th if you know this equation, those are the information you can actually get all the way from the first th uh, three step. Uh, once you get the relay, uh, the the VR compensated compensator relay voltage, then you should be able to uh, figure out what are the uh, uh, compensator uh, impedance information. So this. Uh, by accident, you actually will lead you to get the part B first solution before the part A. So the Z line ohms will be equal to Z compensator per unit multiplied by the Z line base. So this is um, what you, you probably already learned it before from your per unit class. Uh, in order to calculate the real value, you have to use that base value multiplied by the per unit information because if you move this base to here, then basically you make it dimensionless. The Z com, uh, com compensator per unit is actually uh, doesn't have any unit, unit at all, whereas uh, the base and the uh, V line ohms uh, does. So, so once you find out this Z line, which is in ohm unit, then you can easily find out the voltage at the load center, which is basically the same as the last uh, example from the chap uh, textbook is a V load voltage load center equal to voltage line minus voltage uh, of the impedance, which is actually uh, coming from this part of it and then multiplied by the line current. So that will uh, let you solve uh, two parts of this problem, as you can tell right away.
Um, so the, it's a kind of procedural kind of proce process that you have to actually go through it based on the any current conditions. I mean, although that this is a fun part of the regulator, uh, Buddhist regulator chapter is that you need to know uh, what are the parameters first before you actually do something uh, and compute this compensated voltage and then uh, th those are the steps that you have to uh, follow before you actually get to the final solution. And the f uh, usually the final solution uh, in this case is that the, the next step you can probably predict is to find out what are the tape, uh, tape adjustment based on the current uh, uh, tape uh, position, right? So if this is a tape plus 10, then you know that what are the adjustment required. Um, so nothing fancy here. For 7.5 problem, uh, I, uh, as I said, I usually will illustrate a, a problem in the, uh, pic, uh, uh, in the figure format so that you can uh, visualize that the substation this is a power transformer of a, a distribution substation. As you can see, the voltage is always 72,200, uh, very close to the nominal value with the uh, balance uh, angle information. So uh, this apparently is a positive sequence, 0, minus 120, and 120 degree. And then uh, the, the simple part of this problem is that it is actually in although it's three-phase, but it's actually connected in Y configuration. So you can see that the measure of the load center at that point will be this value, which is typical because those values should be lower than the sending uh, terminal. And these are the current information is given to you. And the first question asked is the line impedance per phase. So this is a fairly easy question as you learn from the first circuit is using val this value minus this value divided by this current. Then here you go, you get the impedance information. Now the, the, uh, the part of the question implied here is that once you get out the impedance information, you have to actually do the averaging for the three of the phases of impedance. So A, uh, Z, A, Z, B, and Z, C, and then you add them up together, divide by three, and that's get uh, you to the, the first part of this question. Um, the second part is also very straightforward, so I don't have to brief you uh, again. I think this is a part that you can see from the textbook example, which uh, asks you to find out uh, the relay setting uh, for the, in terms of the uh, ohms and volt units. 7.5 is a uh, problem that relate to 7.7, uh, 7 .7 is a problem that relate to 7.5. And this problem actually uh, is a little bit different than the previous one because as you can tell, uh, the current information has changed. So the loading condition has changed with respect to the load center, uh, the, the regulating point that we are after. And, you know, um, and then also the initial uh, tape position is different now. So uh, is that the one that we have before doesn't give you that information. So this one is much more uh, clear about what where are the current position and where are you uh, going to um, adjust the tape change for each phase based on this current information, right? Again, adjust the tape change based on the current information and then using the 7.5 parameters. So 7.5 parameters give you a lot of information when you compute A and B and so forth, right? So that's Y connected and so forth. So again, um, this is a kind of procedural uh, process you have to go through. So first of all, you have to update the S because of the I. In this case, the I is different. Why is I the different? Because the I indicate the loading condition here. Then, then the next step will be uh, compute the new uh, initial uh, uh, position of the AR, then uh, get the ABCD matrix. So in this case, the A is sort of related to the, the tape position right here, right? So you have to incorporate the current tape position here first before you actually do an adjustment next. So the next step will be compute regulator uh, output voltage and current. Uh, so I list this out the uh, four major step for you to follow out a compute uh, compensator input voltage and current V regulator and uh, which is V regulator and V uh, uh, com uh, respectively for each of those. And then the regulator voltage uh, as well, 
and then finally adjust the tape uh, depending upon uh, you uh, you uh, want to adjust it on the uh, the bottom lower bound or the upper bound in this case so they might be a, a little bit different but um, you will have to determine from what uh, where the voltage would be after you compute the first three power of it uh, hope this helps